All right, so here are the things that I've broken on my Nero. If you look right here on the ball joint, um, you can tell that, and if I can get it to focus, you can actually tell I ended up putting a uh, E, like a Traxxas Revo post there. You can see how it's a little bit short. And if you look over at this one, the black all comes, the black part comes all the way up. The only reason I did that is because no local hobby shops had the part, so I did some maneuvering. But anyways, I broke that, the plastic piece, not the metal piece, just the plastic piece that goes down into here. I broke that by running into a rock, so that was totally my fault, but the parts to replace that are super cheap. Um, other thing I did, I replaced all my rockers with the GKA aluminum rockers. Um, I never broke a rocker, I just heard that these rockers were really cool, they're aluminum. I also heard that these rockers tend to be a weak point in the Nero, so I just wanted to replace them right away. And also you'll see I replaced the rocker post itself. I replaced these simply with a 5mm by 35mm stainless steel uh, wrench, or stainless steel bolt. And then what I had to do to make it fit, uh, and it, it fits absolutely perfectly, but what I also did is I bought uh, a whole bunch of washers, stainless steel 5 millimeter washers. And you can see I have a washer right there in between the uh, bolt head and the rocker. And then there's two on the bottom. There's two that go in between, you know, the rocker itself and the frame of the Nero. So it'd be three washers per post. So you're looking at 12 washers. I think it was less than 10 bucks to change out all the rocker posts. But that is another thing that I broke is my rocker posts. Um, if you take them apart, you'll find that there's kind of like a hollow area in the rocker post. And there's just with the cantilever uh, system, all of the torque and everything tends to go on that screw. So I replaced it with a solid stainless steel five millimeter by 35 millimeter uh, post, which you can buy at your local hardware store. Um, other than that, I haven't had any issues with my Nero. It's been great. I mean, if you look at my body, I've beaten the hell out of it. There's still dirt. I mean, you can see like crinkles um, right in here. This is essentially from landing on the tail end of the Nero, beat the absolute shit out of it. So, I mean, I've, I've landed this thing upside down. I flipped it and I've landed right on the nose. Um, I did break, I did break my front bumper. You kind of see right, right uh, back in there is where it's broken when I twist it. But I mean, you can just throw some shoe goo on there. But like I said, I've been bashing this thing pretty hard in the back gravel pit, just beating the shit out of it. And I haven't had anything significant break. Um, I guess the only other downfall, if I just want to tell you everything about the vehicle that I can think of, would be the battery trays. Um, you have to press this little red button right here to get the battery tray to come down. And after you are bashing and you get a whole bunch of gravel and stuff, I, I've always been able to get it open, but sometimes it just isn't the easiest thing to get open. So um, if you do get the Nero, I would suggest ordering, either going to your local hardware store and getting these five millimeter by 35 millimeter bolts, replacing those right away. Um, maybe ordering some spare rockers, pretty cheap. You can get a set of two for a couple bucks. I'd suggest ordering a set of those. And I'd also suggest ordering a, um, uh, a package of these uh, ball joints down in here. Again, really cheap, just a couple bucks and super easy fixes. So.